Hello. This week we are making strawberry pretzel pie, baby. Ooh. <laughs> Hi, we're in the kitchen now. We are going to make a strawberry pretzel pie. What is that? Great question. I had pretzels left over that I never opened. As much as I'm a pretzel kind of bitch, sometimes they don't all get eaten, so. And with it being the end of summer, beginning of autumn, a lot of grocery stores are getting in a last wave of berries. And so I had strawberries on sale at my local Sprouts. You guys know I love Sprouts. And I was like, I gotta be able to do something with this. And so I have a really good pretzel crust that I really like. So I was searching up things to make with a pretzel crust and I came upon this like whipped strawberry cream cheese pie thing from Half Baked Harvest. Our pretzel crust recipes are basically exactly identical anyway. And I'm gonna tweak her insides a bit. I'm gonna do some different stuff, but I think it's gonna be so good. I'm so excited. I finally get to break my pie plates out again because it is fall, so this feels very nice. Just in case I have some leftover crust, I'm going to have these little spring forms available just to add some extra stuff into if we have leftover, because I think that might be cute as shit. We're starting with our pretzel crust. We're gonna use our food processor. I'm gonna bring you guys over there. There's some maple syrup and butter and stuff in there. It's gonna be very, very good. Then while we throw those in the oven, we're going to prepare our filling, which is cream cheese and heavy whipping cream and a bunch of stuff. And then that's gonna all set up in the fridge. Then we can get our strawberries and stuff together. Excuse me. So I think we're gonna, wow, okay. I think we're gonna have a great time. I can't wait to get into pie baking season again. I love pies so much and I don't really bake them too often in the summer or spring. It's definitely like a fall winter thing for me. Also, it's just my favorite time of year in general as I'm sure many of you would agree. But yeah, I think that's just gonna be a great way to get rid of some stuff you might have lying around or go out and get all of it to make it because I have a feeling it's gonna taste great. <laughs> I am getting everything I need ready. I'm chopping my butter up into little cubes. I'm also preparing my pie plate and spring form pan so that I can have those nice and ready to go for when my crust is ready to be put into it. I also have my oven preheated to 375 degrees, throw my pretzels in the food processor, make those into a nice fine powder, scrape down the sides, add my maple syrup, add my little chunks of butter, then I add some nice ice cold water. You could use any cold liquid. You could do apple cider would be really yummy. I add a little bit of salt and then I tamp it into my pie plates. Try to make it look as pretty as you would like. Just make sure you have a nice even coating on the bottom and up on the sides. Then you're gonna put it into your preheated oven. Okay, so we just popped our crust into the oven. It is at 375. Those are gonna bake off for like 10, 15 minutes, just so it can all kind of solidify, get together, become nice and crispy crunchy. Okay, so these are our little crusty babies. Looking beautiful. They just just came out of the oven, so I do not want to mess with the filling yet because it'll like melt a thousand percent. So I'm gonna let them cool completely, which will probably take like an hour or so. Uh, and then I'm gonna start working on that filling. However, I am very hungry, so I'm gonna make a sandwich. So this is a two part <laughs> video. I have been wanting to, so my dad used to make sandwiches for us every single day. The school sandwiches would just be like ham and cheese and mustard or like bologna and mustard, you guys know, or like salami and mustard. Like it wouldn't be anything special, but when we would have sandwiches like for dinner, they'd be really, really good sandwiches. And I don't know if it's because my dad made them and so like I have a lot of sentimental attachment to them. Not like I do with anything else he's ever done. Or if because they're really good sandwiches. So I kind of want to do a dead dad's kitchen with a special guest who I think you guys will love on like the perfect sandwich because he was so good at making sandwiches and I kind of want to talk about like the science of it like where the tomato should go on the sandwich versus what like if you should put a condiment on each side of the bread or no or da da. So let me know what you guys think about that. I know it's kind of silly but I think if you would like to see it I would love to show you. But here's my little roast beef guide today. <laughs> Sandwich time, it's sandwich time. I'm gonna make a sandwich cause it's sandwich time. I'm cutting up some stuff, but I'm not gonna tell you exactly how I do it cause I'm saving that for the video I told you about. Trying to make this a song. <laughs> Woo, all right, that's the sandwich. Look at that, there you go. 
Okay, so we've got a super yum sandwich, which I'm very excited to eat. I'm starving. Um, and then by the time I'm done with this, it, my pie crust should be cool enough where when I start working on the filling, it will be easy enough to fill it in. Throw it in the fridge for a bit, and then we'll, we're gonna work on something a little special. I wanna make a lemon simple syrup because the recipe on this one calls for Saint Germain, and that's a liquor, and I don't wanna mess it up by giving it to somebody who doesn't drink or is underage or whatever, so I think I'm gonna toss it with lemon simple syrup, which I'm gonna make and show you how to make as well. Okay, so the crusts have cooled to a point where when I'm done with this guy, I will be able to put it into them. Again, just like with everything that I make, more or less, I am going to be doing it in my electric stand mixer, my little KitchenAid. However, you can do this with a hand mixer. You can do this by hand if you want. It'll just take longer. So there you go. Okay, so we're going to start our like cream cheese whipped cream mixture. It's just cream cheese, powdered sugar, heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna add a little salt, uh, and then there's some jam at the end. The recipe I was looking at called for strawberry jam. I'm gonna use some of my grandmommy's homemade plum jam because I think that that tartness will be nice with the strawberries. Let's get that going, I think this is gonna be really pretty. I am throwing 12 ounces of my cream cheese into my stand mixer bowl and I'm just going to start whipping that so it loosens up a bit. I sort of just add as much powdered sugar as like feels, looks, and tastes right. Make sure you always scrape down your sides, add a touch of salt, then I'm going to add my heavy whipping cream. It's during this time that I also am preparing my jam. Mine was a little um, tight, so I just loosened it up in the microwave a bit so it would be easier to spread. Just keep whipping until you've got all of your heavy whipping cream incorporated and your filling is nice and pretty and fluffy and cute. And then you're all done. Okay, so this is definitely at a place I like. It is a beautiful, light, fluffy texture. Now I'm just gonna show you how I put it in the thing. Crust, tin, pie, plate, whatever you would like to call it. And we're gonna put some little jam in there. It's gonna be beautiful. You guys are going to be so enthralled because I am. <laughs> Okay, so I think those are gonna turn out very, very pretty, which I'm super excited about. I am going to start prepping my strawberries and start prepping that simple syrup I told you about. So come with me, please. I need a friend. Will you join me? Thank you guys for being here and being my company. Okay, we're back and we are making simple syrup. So I have two cups of water in a medium-sized pot over high heat. Now all we're gonna do is add two cups of sugar. So this is a pretty rich simple syrup. I like my simple syrups to be pretty thick and also to have a lot of flavor in there. And so yeah, so I'm doing a one to one ratio and then with the lemons, I'm gonna do a whole lemon in there. I'm gonna zest it into there and squeeze it in there. I think it's gonna be so good and so perfect for this pie. I've got my little painter stick, which I love so much. Woo! I'm gonna bring that heat down just a touch and let that sugar all dissolve before I add in my lemon. Okay, now I'm going to wash, peel, and juice my lemon so that it is all ready to go into that simple too. Okay, I am just going to squeeze this straight into my simple and also if the seeds get in there, that's totally fine. I'm gonna be straining it out anyway. Okay, so I actually added an extra lemon. I just didn't think it was lemony enough. Now I'm going to strain it out and let it cool down a bit. Hello again. How are you? <laughs> Honestly, I look so pretty today. Like, you guys can't even pretend like I don't. Okay, anyway, let's chop some strawberries. Now I'm 
just gonna cut up some little straw babies for Olrini because I like having cut up fruit in my fridge. So yeah, then we're gonna assemble the pie. Finally. I just have some fresh mint that I'm roughly tearing up. I need to zest a lemon. I'm kind of rushing because I really want to get this picture for golden hour, which sounds dumb because it is. Pour some of our simple syrup, just a touch, to give it some nice shine. And now, toss all this together. <laughs> See? I need to be more patient. <laughs> okay, I just sat in simple syrup for this, so better be good. Ugh, look at her! Good enough. Okay, now I actually get to try it. It's definitely gonna be a trickier pie to cut into because of the nature of the crust, but let's give it a shot. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. We just got a little baby piece. <laughs> Still very cute though. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, that pretzel crust holds up really nicely, actually. And the fresh strawberries on there. It's got a lot of like, mom brought dessert to the barbecue vibes. It's got a lot of, this is the one thing you know how to make vibes. It's just very cute. This is just good. This is so good. Make this. If you have extra pretzels and extra strawberries and cream cheese and lemons and um, heavy whipping cream and vanilla. Oh fuck, I forgot to put vanilla in it. Thank you.